Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to put on Android Auto or with, or um, a UI, user interface, interact or whatever, onto a vehicle in Assetto Corsa. Let's get right into it. So first you're going to want to open up Content Manager, select a vehicle of your own, but it has to have some sort of GUI or some sort of a um, UI. So to check that, you can just run, left click on it. Go to open in custom showroom. Once you've opened that, as you can see, my my vehicle, which is what I'm using right now, um, is the Porsche Panorama Turbo. So it has the GUI, as you can see right here. So first, you, and then you're gonna wanna click onto it. Just, just only, just not not the whole frame. The only like the you know thing right here. Then you're gonna wanna copy the name of it by just doing Control A and then Control C to copy it. Then you're gonna wanna uh you're gonna wanna you know minimize the custom showroom. Left click on it again instead of going back to the custom showroom. You're gonna want to go to folder extension and um, config right here so as you can see I already added the thing the the Android auto so I'm just gonna have to redo it okay let's see for the sake of, of the video, I'm just gonna redo it. Get rid of that. You wanna save the uh, name of it, and then go to the Android Auto. Um, you should you need to copy this and then put it in here. Put it in the. If you don't have it, and then like if you don't have the X extension uh, config, you're gonna wanna create it by doing extension. And then creating, you know, um, extension folder inside of the car you're, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna add the Android Auto to. You're gonna wanna create an ex uh, extension uh, uh, folder inside of the car. Then you want, you're gonna wanna uh, go inside that folder you just created and uh, make a new, um, new text document. Then you're gonna wanna type in. The thing you just copied from uh, the description, which I'm gonna leave in. So, go ahead and paste it in there. Then you're gonna copy this name right here. Delete it. Make sure you already copied it before you delete it. Then you're gonna wanna replace, replace it with display mesh, just like that. Then, for the resolution and size, you're gonna wanna go into the game, I mean, into the uh, custom showroom, right here, and then click on the three dots beside the thing you just copied. Cool. This will tell you the size right here, 1024, 1024. Now, you're gonna wanna go back to the extension, then you're gonna wanna type in here, 10, 24, comma, uh, 10, 24. You're gonna do the same thing with size. 10, 24, and 10, 24. There. Now that's done. So now, you're gonna wanna go ahead and click on save. And close. And now, if if it shows any other like errors or something, um, I don't know because I got this from another video, and I'm gonna leave the credits uh, down below. This is more like a quick and easy version, but well, you know, if you want to like the full detail, you go you go to the other video. I'm just doing this really fast. So um, then you're gonna wanna close out of it. And uh, then you can just hop in right into the game after that. Uh, first, we're gonna. 
you can use you can also do this with mods but also it has to have the UI but if it doesn't then it won't work so now you can just, just don't close this you're gonna you're gonna need this in the game if you want to do like some more configurations just want to just minimize that and then go hop right into the game all right now we are in the game and look at this beauty I mean look at that it works perfectly man and a thing it where this is a cool feature where when you change the weather in game it turns to the, the time that it estimates it can like go to wallpapers you can do different wallpapers while you're driving let's see well, this one looks good this one oh yeah you can literally turn on Spotify, turn on rear camera, my Porsche. Look at that. Fuel, let's see if it's the correct one. Let's see. Okay, yeah. But yeah, um, there we go. If you want, oh yeah, I was gonna watch some YouTube. But I think the YouTube feature doesn't really work that well. Yeah, you can go to clock. Pretty cool, if you ask me. But you can't be watching YouTube while you're driving. <laughs> Dangerous. Um, you can go to the. Oops. No. Oh, another cool feature you can throw on a freaking Spotify, and it will literally open up your Spotify on the computer if you have Spotify. If you don't, it might not work. Or you could just use um this other one, radio, right here. And this should play. But I recommend using the Spotify one right here. But first, you gotta go into your Spotify right here and turn it on. You gotta leave it on in the background. And what you can play it. We're just gonna play like one. Yeah. But yeah, once you pause it, it'll show like right here. Pretty cool feature. You can drive. Play music. Pretty cool if you ask me. Um, yeah, that's uh, the video right here.